even though we had only a few minutes together. Have you told anybody about this place? No. Yeah. Then be careful what you say. People get strange ideas, and we don't want anyone to spoil it for us, do we? That's settled then. My dear boy, what a delightful surprise. What's the attraction? The sex or the money? Roddy, if he's got any sense, he'll go for both. Exactly. I think it's time we had some new blood. I think it's just what we need. Yes, let's talk about it, shall we? I think we should make some money. Are you interested? Oh, yes. You can never resist showing off, can you? Take care, Kim. Take care. What are your ambitions, Mark? Oh, I don't know. To be successful, I suppose. Oh, yes. That's what they all say. But are you prepared to pay the price of success? It doesn't come cheap, dear boy. <laughs> yes. But can you follow the threefold path? I'm sorry? Don't you want to be where decisions are made that affect not just a few people, but a whole nation? Yes. Yes, I suppose. Of course you do, dear boy. But first you have to accumulate wealth. <laughs> What's happening? The computer is calculating what is the best currency to buy or sell and where to deal in it. Australian dollars are the best buy at the moment. We should buy in Hong Kong. <laughs> then do it. Do it. The Reserve Bank is supporting the dollar. Excellent. Sell the 10 million in Sydney. We've made a profit of $40,319.65. Jesus, in 20 seconds. Thank you, Cleo. You will stay the night. Oh, yeah. I'd love to. I was wondering if you... We'll talk about it in the morning. I expect Helen's already prepared the guest room for you. I trust you slept well. <laughs> Helen says you're very impressed by our little setup. Who wouldn't be? It's incredible. Right. We're needing a new assistant. We could be suitable. It wouldn't take you very long to make yourself a few million. You do have a little capital. A few thousand, fortunately. Still, it might work. You would, of course, have to prove that you have what the Americans say, the right stuff. Are you made of the right stuff? Of course, you'd have to prove that you have the necessary qualities, courage, determination, ruthlessness. And, of course, you'd have to remove anything, anybody, that gets in your way. It doesn't matter how. Don't get caught, that's enough of it. You see, in these days, you simply can't be rich 
and honest. Well, I must phone Tokyo. I would need proof, dear boy, when you come here again, that you're capable of becoming one of us. We've got a good life here. Join us and we'll have a wonderful time together. But we have to do what Roddy says. We all have to. It's part of the deal. <laughs> So much for my Crompton deal, my customer, and you blew it. I think I probably lack some of your finesse, Ray. Piss off. I bet you can't do another 20 lifts. I've done quite enough for today, thank you. Do them for Henry's job when he retires. If you can do another 20 lifts, I'll resign, clear out, then Henry's job will be yours. What do you say? I'll get it anyway. Really? Alec will be a witness. What are you talking about? Think about it, Frank. 20 lifts. We'll be out of your life. What do you say? <laughs> I'm serious. All right. Oh, for Christ's sake, Frank, you're not in any condition to do any more. Oh, thanks, Alan. This is between Frank and me. But he's... Now, all... Go and have a cold shower or something, OK? Thanks. Come on, Frank. 20 lifts. 20 more lifts. Get him out of your life forever. One, two, three. Frank. Pity hadn't studied the threefold path. But none of this would have happened. <laughs> 